Let's make pheasant tikka masala. If you're not the type to try new recipes, let this be the one to change your mind. It works great with any upland bird or even wild turkey. First, we'll mix together our spices. We'll need garam masala, coriander, turmeric, cumin, salt, smoked paprika, and cayenne pepper. We'll set that aside and cut our pheasant into bite-sized chunks. Then we can add those chunks into a large bowl with a half a cup of plain Greek yogurt, a half a tablespoon of minced garlic, a half a tablespoon of ginger, and half of our seasoning mixture. We'll stir well and let that marinate for 15 minutes or up to overnight in the fridge. Then, when we're ready to cook, we'll remove the pheasant pieces from the marinade and add them to a skillet over medium-high heat. We'll let them cook in batches until they're lightly browned on two sides, then set them aside to a plate as we brown them. Once we finish browning the pheasant, in the same skillet we'll add in diced onions and cook them down until they're softened. Then we'll add in a half a tablespoon of minced garlic, a half a tablespoon of ginger, and the rest of our spices. We'll mix that together and then once it's mixed we can add in 8 ounces of tomato puree, a half cup of heavy cream, and a fourth cup of chicken broth. We'll stir well then add back in our pheasant pieces to the skillet and bring it up to a simmer. We'll let that simmer for 10 to 15 minutes or until the pheasant pieces are fully cooked and add in a fourth cup of chopped cilantro and we're ready to serve over a bed of rice with garlic naan. You're absolutely gonna love this one, give it a try.